It's the biggest under the hood hardware move in Windows PCs in a long time. We're finally seeing some real competition in processors with Qualcomm Snapdragon X Elite and X Plus joining Intel and AMD chips as legit choices for premium PCs. Now Windows on ARM has been tried before on a smaller scale, but this time there are several things working in its favor. Performance from the Snapdragon X is as good as comparable x86 chips, while at the same time, power efficiency is overall much better. Now that leads to laptops that run cooler and quieter, and most importantly, can have longer battery life. Also important, we're seeing support from most of the major PC makers, as well as from Microsoft, which has taken this first wave of Snapdragon X laptops and dubbed them Copilot Plus PCs. Because of this, these laptops from Dell, HP, Lenovo, Asus, and others, including Microsoft's own Surface line, have access to unique AI features that you can't currently get anywhere else. Now, part of that is because these are some of the most powerful PCs you can get right now for AI tasks. The Snapdragon X chips offer discrete NPUs or neural processing units that silo off AI functions so they don't slow down your CPU. Now, these chips have 45 tops of AI performance, which stands for tera or trillions of operations per second. In Windows 11, that powers onboard AI features like co-creator in the paint app, image generation in photos, studio camera effects like automatic framing, and even live captions that work in real time with just about any kind of video, live stream, or web meeting. One of the main reasons these Snapdragon X systems stand out is their exceptional battery life. Thanks to the energy efficient architecture, laptops equipped with these chips can last 20 hours or more on a single charge, depending on what you're doing with it. It's certainly not unusual to get a dozen hours or so from moderately intense workloads. Now, one of the things I've liked in testing a bunch of the first wave of Copilot Plus PCs is that they wake up from sleep extraordinarily quickly and they stay connected to your Wi-Fi network, even in sleep mode, so you can feel confident you'll be able to flip the lid open and get right back to work. A lot of this first wave of Copilot Plus PCs also have integrated 5G support, making them good for travel, and that's a potentially faster and more reliable connection than either tethering to your phone or hunting for public Wi-Fi. Now, some of the things I've done with Copilot Plus PCs so far are things I never would have tried on the handful of previous Windows on ARM systems from years ago. I've done plenty of Photoshop editing, I've installed and run local AI tools like anything LLM, using a local version of the Llama 3 model, and that lets you keep your AI work locally on the machine instead of sharing it to a cloud service. Some games and apps are gonna have to wait for native versions or for versions that work with Qualcomm's Prism emulation layer, but a lot of the most common ones already have native versions, including Office 365 from Microsoft, Photoshop, Zoom, OBS, CapCut, Steam, and of course, web browsers like Chrome and Brave. The pitch here is better battery life and better local AI at mainstream prices and without compromising on overall performance. My big takeaway from testing several of this first wave of Copilot Plus PCs with the Snapdragon X Elite and X Plus chips is that this new platform it's off to a pretty strong start, and it's going to continue to develop as things like NPUs and smart power efficiency become more and more important to laptop shoppers.